Imagine you're watching the news one day, and they show coverage of a speech by Emmanuel Macron, president of France. Of course, his speech is in French, so either the news company provides a translator's voice laid over the audio, or subtitles of the translation in your language. But what if you could just click a button and he instantly was speaking in your language, like this? What we celebrate above all today is the action of a man who has carried the European dream very high. Or perhaps Donald Trump is giving a speech to a camera in English and you wanted to hear it in Italian. Afghanistan was a disaster and Joe Biden destroyed our country. The American americano assediato da bugie nella caccia alle streghe partigiane. Or in Polish. Or in Hindi. Protestujących do wyrażania swoich głosów w sposób pokojowy i patriotyczny. Okay, this isn't really possible yet, but last week, HeyGen Labs released the beta version of their video translator that almost does this in real time. At the HeyGen website, choose Labs down in the lower left corner of the main page. Then at the Labs page, choose Video Translate. The current requirements are that the video needs to be at least 30 seconds long, but less than 5 minutes in length. And the file size can't be greater than 500 megabytes. At this time, the original video can be in one of 10 languages, and the output video can be up to seven different languages. You can try it for free, but you'll need to pay about $60 a month to receive enough tokens for multiple videos, and also to speed up the time it takes for your video to be processed. I started with an excerpt of a YouTube video I made about a promotion talk I recently gave. I cut it down to 30 seconds, and then it took about 15 minutes to upload and be translated at the HeyGen website. Here's what happened when I chose German. Hello. Because this is my first time meeting most of you, and you will know me only from the materials supporting my promotion application, I've decided to use the next five minutes to provide a little information about what makes me look forward to coming to work to UQ each day. Hallo. Da dies mein erstes Treffen mit den meisten von Ihnen ist und Sie mich nur aus den Unterlagen meiner Bewerbung kennen, möchte ich Ihnen in den nächsten fünf Minuten erzählen, was mich jeden Tag auf die Arbeit an der UQ freut. Pretty cool, huh? Notice how it carefully redoes my lip and mouth movements to look like I'm actually pronouncing words in German. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison with the original and the German versions. You can see that the AI doesn't change much at all in the video except the area around my mouth. Well, I went on to make different versions of my video, and you can see for yourself how good they are. I'll have to leave it to people who are native speakers of these languages to let me know how good my pronunciation and translation really are. Hola, es mi primera vez con la mayoría de ustedes. Y me conocerán solo a través de los materiales que me vale Samagri se hi jaan payenge. Isliye maine nirnay liya hai ki main aapko UQ me kaam karne ke liye utsahit hone ke liye kuch jankari dunga. Il y a longtemps, en tant qu'étudiant de deuxième année à l'université aux États-Unis, j'ai suivi un cours de psychologie. Er würde nicht nur einer der produktivsten und wichtigsten Forscher in meinem Fachgebiet, sondern auch ein fantastischer Lehrer sein, der mich dazu brachte, in die Bibliothek zu gehen. Pretty impressive stuff. I can only imagine that there'll be more languages and faster processing times available in the near future. As an educator, I'm not exactly sure how I will use this technology, except perhaps to make videos in different languages. Now, I also tried two back translation experiments. The first one is a German video, the original translation that I made into German. I translated it back into English using my accent. That's what the menu choice says, and here's what I got. Hello. Since this is my first meeting with most of you, and you only know me from the documents of my application, I would like to take the next five minutes to share what truly excites So I have to interpret my accent means that if it detected that the original language speaker was in German, it tries to give a German accent to the English translation. And then I tried it again, this time picking a French video that I had made and translated it back to English without an accent. And let's see what we get there. Hello. As this is my first meeting with most of you, and you will only know me through the documents supporting my promotion request, I will give you information about what motivates me to work at UQ every day. I have to admit that I wish I sounded like that in real life. I'm interested in your thoughts about this amazing technology. Can you think of a good use for it? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll be back next week with another video about psychology or academia and something related to it. Jusqu'à présent, 
aimez et abonnez-vous pour aider l'algorithme de YouTube à montrer ma chaîne à d'autres. Jusqu'à la prochaine fois. Au revoir.